we've written the three in here. All right. Look at the words here. I have memory. Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, or all the same thing. Audrey Glass is a longtime favorite with Vancouver opera audiences. Vocal coaching young singers is just one of the ways that this remarkable artist transmits her own delight in music and the performing arts. Another is her concern for the future of a world-class opera company in Vancouver. I'm optimistic, I guess, and part of that is because I want to be optimistic. Because I've been involved with the company so long, for so many years, that I feel very strongly that if, if it doesn't really get going now, it's not going to be able to live through well another one of these shifts and changes in policy, policy and politics and power. You were asking about the Opera Club's connection with the, with the Opera Company. We've always had a very close liaison with the Opera Company and in the last several years the way we've kept this up is to um, do the in-depth previews for all the Vancouver Opera productions. The first one this coming season is going to be uh, on October 21st on Verdi's Nabucco. Also, this year, uh, in the case of each opera, a program that is connected with the, uh, with the opera, but not necessarily on that opera alone. The in-depth preview on Nabucco will be October 21st, and on October 16th and 17th, the Opera Club's program is going to be on Verdi's early operas, the Bel Canto Decade. There's a few hundred more you know, they can support the Playhouse Theatre Company and they can support the symphony playing a season. And what they're trying to do is reach as many people as possible with their masterworks and their mm -hmm. pop series. And so they're pulling people in. And if the opera club can help to pull people in and get them interested in opera, why not? Who cares what tack you use?